Okay, now we're making our mango salsa. I took the hated mango, I peeled it, and I diced it. Then I add my red and green bell peppers. Okay, this will give it a little color. So it looks nice, you know, because when you do when you blacken fish, all you see is a black fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit of scallion. A little bit of cilantro. Red onions. And I put a little cumin. Okay. A pinch of salt. Not too much, just a pinch. And a little bit of pepper. Okay, now it's much reduced. I'm gonna add my cream to this. And we'll let our cream thicken slightly and finish it off with a little butter. Okay. Just a little butter, huh? Right. And we have our ahi that I, that I cut to a fillet. Mm -hmm. And I took my blackened spice, which is our own blend of paprika, onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, thyme, cayenne, black pepper, a little salt. And we make our, it's not really too spicy. My pan is nice and hot. I'll add just a little bit of oil. I use a cast iron pan. I want me to the smoke just a little bit, okay? And we'll take our fish jumper. And we'll season the backside. Salt pepper. Like all fish, are you are you aiming for medium, medium rare? I, I say medium rare. Uh-huh. Gotcha. For, for here. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the stove back on here. I'm gonna finish off my butter sauce. Okay. Which I whisk in butter slowly. And the sauce again is lemon, ginger? Lemon, ginger, butter sauce. Gotcha. And then shallots, ginger, and, and green onion and tea. And lemon juice, rice wine vinegar. But I think you need a little acid mm -hmm. for the sauce. We have to strain the sauce into the pot. Mm, okay. Okay. This is called the chinoise. It's very fine mesh. Okay. Now, Chef, are you all done with this? Yes. See, let me take this away. Okay, please. Now we're gonna turn our fish here. And my fish is right about going to be about medium rare. Plus, if you let it sit for a while, it's gonna have an internal temperature to cook a little bit more. Right. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of people don't appreciate the fact that when things rest, they continue to cook, huh? Right, okay. And then here we're gonna take our sauce. I'm gonna spoon the sauce over the fish. And you can see it's, it's a little bit, okay. Ooh, that looks good already. You can put it on the sauce on the bottom, but I like it on top so it's not, so you eat it, you have all the flavors all together, okay. And you have the contrast here, nice colorful contrast here. Yeah, beautiful work, Chef. Nice. And then we have our micro cilantro that we get from, from Dryland Farms in Kapolei. So this is the Kakako Kitchen catch of the day. Right. Nice job. Thank you. Tell you what, Russell, best part of the show is coming right up. We get a chance to taste it. Thank so you. folks, don't go away. We'll be right back and let you know how this goes down. Man, beautiful work. Thank you. Hi, welcome back to the show. If you just joined us, we're with Chef Russell Sioux on behalf of Kakako Kitchen. I've right. just put together the catch of the day. Can you run this by for us again? It's a blackened ahi with the lemon ginger butter sauce and ma hated mango salsa. Hated mangoes. Well, right. you know. The mangoes this season now. <laughs> yeah, well, perfect. Mango, ginger, lemon, ahi, right. Cajun. Chef, that doesn't get any better than that. Thank you. Beautiful stuff. Now at the Kakaku Kitchen, are you serving this with? We serve that every day as our catch. Uh huh. We change the catch presentation daily. Okay, gotcha. With rice, with with rice, greens, or, or we do greens, we do pasta, different things. It depends on how we present the catch. Good stuff, Chef. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. And folks, we want to say thank you to everybody else who participated on today's program. Folks, it's not going to be that long. We'll see you in about a week on Let's Go Fishing. Chef, this is perfect. But you know what? I need some white rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.